Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this beach chair. The size of the beach chair using 8 ply wool, this one here, is 14 centimetres by 10 centimetres or 5.5 inches by 4 inches. The smaller chair using 4 ply crochet cotton is 11.5 centimetres by 7 centimetres or four and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton today. I've got red for my main colour, white for the contrast and light brown for the frame. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 1.25 millimetre crochet hook, scissors and a sewing needle and thread to stitch it together. Now I start at the side of the seat using my main colour which is my red and I work 27 chain For row one, I miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet, I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, which is my third chain from the hook, and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through the three loops. And then I repeat that in each stitch to the end. I always have trouble with the first row because some of my joints don't move anymore. My fingers don't bend enough to be able to hold them properly.
Now that's the first row complete. I pull a loop out and leave the red and I'm going to join my white in the top of the chain there. and work two chain. And then I'm going to work a half double crochet into each stitch to the end. I'm going to be crocheting in that tail. So I'm holding it, it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. Now I'm to the beginning of the row, so I hook the red loop onto my hook and then just pull it through and work two chain with my red and then turn my work and I'm going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across. This cotton splits a bit, but it has beautiful colours and very affordable, so. A bit of splitting doesn't worry me too much.
at the end of the row we pull our loop out a bit and then we're going to bring our white cotton to the top so just put your hook into the top of the two chain and bring your white cotton through and work two chain. Now it doesn't matter if the end doesn't look really good because we're going to turn it over the top of our frame and then we work one half double crochet into each stitch across. So I'll continue across this row and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. Now on to the end of the row I slip the loop from the red onto my hook, bring up my red and yarn around the hook and take it through both the loops and then work two chain and turn my work and now I work across the row one half double crochet into each stitch using my red. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. I'm at the end of the row so I pull my red loop out and I join in my white. I put my hook into the top of the chain, bring the yarn round to the back and bring a loop through and then work two chain. And then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll continue along this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now I've finished my row of white so I join in my red by slipping the loop onto my hook and then yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn through the loops and then work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. I finish my row of red so I pull the loop out and join in my white, put my hook into the top of the chain and bring the white yarn round to the back and through the loop and then work two chain. We've got two more rows to go and then I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now you could work your seat in one colour if you'd prefer. You'd just work seven rows of half double crochet. But I do like the stripes. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now that's the last of my white rows complete. I join my red in again. And work two chain and turn. And I can fasten off my white now. And then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end.
So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. And that's the seat finished. I'll fasten that off. Next I'll work a side frame. I need two, one for each side. I start with 36 chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each chain to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And I repeat that into each stitch to the end. This beach chair was a request, but I may use it on my teddy bear's picnic blanket. Now I'll continue working a single crochet into each stitch, and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. I've worked a single crochet into each stitch to the end, so I fasten off and I'll need another side frame piece of 36 chain, miss the first and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Now for these cross frame pieces I need four. I've got one at each end of the seat, one for the back legs and one in for the front legs. I start with 22 chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll continue working one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now I've got my one single crochet into each stitch to the end, so I fasten that off and I'll need three more cross frame pieces. That's working 22 chain and then miss the first chain and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Now for these two back legs, one there and the one the other side, I start with 17 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
and fasten off. And I need to make another leg working 17 chain, miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. So I'll work another leg piece, three more cross sections and another side piece, weave in my ends and I'll be back to put it together. And here's my pieces. I've got my seat piece, two side frame pieces, four cross pieces and two back legs. The first things I'll be doing is attach two cross frame pieces to the back of the seat. I have them even, the same amount sticking over each side. And then I'll be bending the end over the frame pieces. I'll also attach a frame piece to the bottom of the two side pieces. I'll have the side pieces just slightly lower than the cross frame piece. So about there, and I'll do the same with the back legs. I'll put a cross frame piece across the bottom. The legs will stick slightly lower than the cross frame piece. So I'll do those and I'll be back. The next things I'll do is stitch the end just over the crossbars a bit and then I'll attach the side pieces to the crossbars but I'll have a tiny bit sticking up at the top so just in like that on each side with a bit sticking up. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now the last thing we do is attach the back legs about halfway up the seat on the frame. So in behind there, just about there, it's just hanging down a little bit and it's off to one side. So I'll put it to that side. So I'll attach that and I'll be back to show you the finished chair. And there's the finished beach chair. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.